Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and welcome my friends to a new collaboration on the channel. We are collaborating with one of my clan mates, Smithy. He has a YouTube channel. Please make sure you go and drop him a sub. The channel link will be in the description box down below. But what we're basically about to do, we are going to take 1,000 skeletons, an all witch army, an all skeleton spell army, and we are about to take on his troll base. Now, welcome to the snake. What we're basically going to do is spawn right down the bottom there and make our way around the entire base to see if we can make it to the end where that new bomb tower defense is, the town hall, and loads of other defenses. So in total, you are about to see over 1,000 skeletons take on this town hall 9 troll base, the snake. Now we're going to be using max witches and of course max skeleton spells. Let's just drop every single troop at the start of the snake and see how far we can make it into the base. This gameplay is nothing short of awesome. Check out how many skeletons are already making their way into the snake troll base. It is going to be so lit. Let's see how far we can get can we make it all the way to the end so just whilst we're watching all of these skeletons completely trample over smithy's base i want you guys to help me out so this is called the snake troll base so it's called the snake now what i want every single one of you to do go down below in that comment section and comment just one word which you want the next troll base to be called so say you want the next troll base to be called an apple Comment apple and I will make an apple troll base. So every single one of you comment one single word down below. I'm going to randomly pick one of you and make a troll base about the word. Check out the amount of destruction that these Larrys, these skeletons have already done to this Town Hall 9 troll base. It's so damn awesome to watch this mass kind of gameplay. Now let me just break it down for you. In total we used 11 skeleton spells which actually produce 286 Larrys. Then we have 20 max which is double big bomb. Almost took out those witches. That was pretty close. As I was saying, we got 286 skeletons just from the skeleton spells. Then the witches inside of this map actually produced an average of about 50 to 60 skeletons each. Meaning that the total skeleton count was somewhere in the region of 1,200 skeletons. Obviously, you don't see them all on the map at one single point. Because those Harry Potter towers, those wizard towers, really just, you know, one-shot those skeletons. And take like 50 of them out at a time. R.I.P. Larry. So we've made it all the way to the end of this Town Hall 9 troll base, the snake, and we still have plenty of witches left. Now, please, please continue to watch this video, guys. We are about to try a variety of different troops on the base, but what we're about to do next, we are about to use the skeletons, the witches, the skeleton spells once again, except this time we're not going to use the heroes and we are not going to use the clan castle. So check it out, we're going in for a second live attack using mass witches, mass skeleton spells. This time we're only going to be using the Grand Warden with them. So let's see what kind of damage we can do when you take out the heroes, the king and the queen, and you also take out the clan castle. Those skeleton spells just look so damn awesome. Don't forget to go down below in that comment section and comment one single word which you want the next troll base to be called. I'm going to randomly pick one person in a couple of hours time. Check out the amount of skeletons on that map. I've never seen so many skeletons spawned up at one single time. There must be hundreds of them running around those little witches, guys. This sort of gameplay really makes this game fun. I mean, honestly, I'm having so much fun right now just watching these skeletons destroy and torment these defenses. Even the expos in the center are getting a beat down from these little larrys. There are just too many skeletons on the map right now for the witches to even get a beating. Check out how many. Let's see what this wizard tower is going to do to this little bunch of skeletons, guys. Check it out. There's about, what, at least 100 skeletons there. The wizard tower is going to fry them so quickly. Check it out. That is a graveyard if I've ever seen one. So we are going to be testing out the baby dragon next. Then we're going to test out the hog riders. So as I said, stay tuned. This episode is only going to get better, guys. I can promise you that. So just whilst we watch the rest of these skeletons destroy as much of this base as possible, I just want to say a massive thank you. We are about to pass 860,000 subscribers. Now, if you've been subbed to the channel for a couple of days or maybe maybe even a week or longer, you will know I am giving away 1,000 US dollars on the last day of October. October 31st guys, so in 14 days time, two weeks today, two weeks today I will officially be giving away $1,000 on the channel. So as I said, all you need to do to have the chance to win that prize is legit sub to the channel guys and drop a like on this video right now just to show some support. So please can we go for 10,000 likes on this episode, that would be absolutely awesome. So as I said, in a couple of moments time, we're going to be testing out the baby dragon, then we're going to test out some max hog riders. This, this episode is uh, definitely one of the most entertaining and strangest we've done for a while. 
No heroes, no clan castle. It looks like the uh, the witches and the skeletons have just been pretty damn demolished inside of this second attack. So we're not going to try the witches anymore. We're going to delete the witches or we're going to send them off into uh, my clan mates clan castles. And then we're going to go and try the brand new maxed out level 5 baby dragon. So if you are new around here... We actually gemmed the baby dragon to max level a couple of days ago, and I've never really seen mass dragon, uh, mass baby dragon gameplay on YouTube, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens when we drop in 24 baby dragons and they try to take on the snake troll base. So stay tuned for that. The final few witches are starting to die out. There's only uh, just over 15 seconds left inside of the battle anyway. The Grand Warden, of course, he's always the last man alive. I mean, it always happens. The reason I decided to use them inside of this battle is because the big bombs were going to destroy my witches a lot quicker if we didn't bring the Grand Warden. But unfortunately, we didn't get the three star. We still had an awesome raid, guys, and picked up 76%. So it's time to get rid of the witches and of course build ourselves a little baby dragon army. So this week I'm feeling to do maybe two or three troll bases on the channel. There will be another collaboration coming with another YouTuber in maybe two or three days time. So stay tuned for that guys. But I'm kind of feeling as I said to do at least two troll bases this week. But I need you guys to help me out and let me know what you want them to be called and what you want them to look like. So as I said if you want to see an apple troll base come an apple. And I will make an apple troll base. If you want to see a banana troll base, comment banana. And I may make a banana troll base. But here we go, guys. 24 baby dragons. We've actually set the Grand Warden to air. And we have also changed the spell. So no longer are we using skeleton spells. We're using a triple heal spell, two rage spells, and a single haste spell. The heroes are coming along because I'm not really sure what these baby dragons are going to do. Do not forget, guys, the baby dragons only rage up they only use their special ability when they're on their own but of course we have 24 of them 23 now we just lost one to the air mine but they're still gonna make their way nicely along this town hall 9 troll base let's see if we can make it all the way to the end can we get the second triple star when i was choosing the baby dragon a couple of minutes ago i wasn't sure whether you guys wanted to see the dragon or the baby dragon i decided to use the baby dragon because there are more of them that is the main issue i see with the main dragon guys the original dragon it's just too many housing spaces for a single troop which really just isn't worth it don't get me wrong it's a fantastic troop but it really isn't worth 20 housing spaces i mean if you bring a maxed out dragon army you're, you're hardly gonna get even a one star let alone a two star in a town hall 11 so it's really not great guys you do have to be really smart when you're using air attacks these days i mean supercell have been trying to balance air and ground for so long now and they still haven't done it ground is so much stronger than air i mean even the max witches that you just saw they're one of the worst ground troops in the game still one of the worst ground troops in the game yeah, they can destroy bases so damn quickly, but but baby dragons, dragons, minions, lava hounds, and balloons, they're just a little bit too underpowered, and maybe the, uh, the defenses themselves are just too overpowered, but forget about all that, guys. Let's see what these baby dragons can do. We are coming into the heart of the base. There goes a heal spell and a rage spell. The heroes, the king and the uh, the Grand Warden anyway, are still alive. Here comes the defending clan castle. There is a witch. I actually donated Smithy, one of my witches, I'm not sure if I should have done that because the witch seems to be very annoying, but she's down now. She's definitely down. The baby dragon's about to make their way into the final part of the base. So it seems the baby dragons have done actually quite a good job. We still have a single heal spell, but the final troop we're going to be testing out is none other than your favorite. I'm sure this is one of the, uh, the people's favorite. It's got to be the Hog Rider, guys. I mean, the Hog Rider, one of my personal favorite troops. Obviously, at Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, he doesn't get used that much because of the uh, the big bombs. But now Supercell have actually uh, decreased the damage big bombs due to the Hog Rider. It's going to be very interesting to see what those little bad boys can do to this Town Hall 9 troll base, the Snake. I'm kind of feeling that they can actually triple star it as well. So let's just see what happens. So we've taken out the Town Hall. Oh, there's still Expos in the center. Gonna drop the Clan Castle on those Expos, guys. Here come the max level Valkyries. I didn't want to use the CC because I didn't want to make the attack too easy. But there we go. Another perfect three-star on the Snake Troll base. And it's time to make our way into the Hog Rider. So let's get rid of these dragons and bring some piggies. I think we're going to keep the same spells. We're going to keep three heal spells, two rage spells, and a haste spell. We're just going to bring 48 piggies, drop out all the dragons, and make our way into the final challenge against Smithy's base. So don't forget, as I said, guys, Smithy's channel link will be in the description down below. Feel free to go and drop him a sub and help him reach 10,000 subscribers. So here we go, 48 Hog Rider. 
Spiders are ready to ramble. Let's see what kind of damage these little piggies can do against this Town Hall, uh, Town Hall 9 base. Now, we're going to be using the heroes because, of course, the, uh, the Hog Riders only target defenses. We're going to kind of see. This is going to be the most dodgy of the attacks, guys. But I still want to see what these, uh, these Hog Riders can do. So, there we go. All 48 Hog Riders have been dropped in. We're not going to use the Clan Castle. We may use the Clan Castle to take out the Expos in the center if the Hog Riders actually go over there. So, we're going to use the first heal spell very shortly or maybe not. They're not really uh, suffering too much damage right now. Going to see if we can save the spells all the way to the end, guys. There goes the first one, but we're not really going to uh, use too many after that, apart from the haste spell, which we've just dropped down. So let's see if these piggies can make their way on. Oh, no, some of them are going over into the uh, the expo in the center, but the majority have stayed over on the right-hand side. So we just popped the Grand Warden's ability, trying to stop that wizard tower from doing way too much damage to my troops. Now we know there is a double giant big bomb right near the air defense. So let's drop a heal spell. So heal spell has gone down in preparation for the double giant big bomb. There it goes, guys, and doesn't manage to take out my hog riders. Now, previously, I believe before the update, the other hog riders may have died there. I'm not too sure they are level six hog riders. So there is a defending clan castle which has come out and it seems to be doing way too much damage. So we're going to have to drop down the second rage spell really quickly and see if we can take out this base as fast as we can, guys. The final few defenses are going down, but it looks like we are about to lose the last little piggies way too many defensive clan castle troops there and so many larry's as well so here we go we have a barbarian king an archer queen and a couple of valkyries can we triple star this base guys stay tuned this is gonna get very interesting i just missed the king's ability as well what is going on here comes the valkyries they're gonna take out the witch the wizards and the larry's and now a couple of Valks and the Queen are all that's remaining. So it really does come down to the final troop because the Valkyries are about to die. There is nothing left on the map. The Valkyries, can they take out the Barbarian King and possibly the Archer Queen? There goes the Barbarian King just about. Here we go, the Archer Queen, guys. They've taken her down to half hit points already, but they're not going to manage to do it. So it is all about the Queen. But of course, we still have her ability. I mean, the Queen's going to find this so easy. It's a Wizard Tower which is about to drop really quickly, and then a queen which only needs one shot. So we've done it, guys. We have absolutely done it. We have managed to clean up for the third time in a row, three stars on this troll base. So the episode is going to end very shortly. There will be a second one coming in a couple of hours' time. Please do not forget to drop a like on this video if you do actually enjoy these types of episodes. And of course, comment down below one single word which you want the next troll base to be called. Thank you, as I said, for 860,000 subscribers. We are making our way up to 900,000. The $1,000 giveaway will be on October 31st, guys. So two weeks today. Stay tuned to the channel and write it down on your calendar. Do not forget to drop Smithy a sub. His channel link will be in the description box down below. I will see you very shortly, guys, in a couple of hours' time. Have a great day. Peace out.